going on everyone? It's the Lego Detective and at long last I'm coming at you with another Battle Beat'em On review and today I'm going to be reviewing Cobalt Saber Shining. So because I hit 1000 subscribers I decided to do a special video for pretty much all of the things that I have done and that I do on my channel and I'm planning to do a Beat'em On 1000 subscriber special. This video is not the 1000 subscriber special, rather it is just a test video to pretty much test out this new style of reviewing. I want to see your feedback in the comments below if you like this style, and once I get a style of video editing and reviewing that I can use for beat em on, I will do that 1000 subscriber special and it'll be absolutely amazing. So if you've seen some of my other beat em on videos, you might be wondering why would you review Cobalt Saber Shining instead of Cobalt Saber? And I do have the original Cobalt Saber, and there are not so many people on YouTube who review beat em on, but out of the people that do review beat em on, there have been a lot of great reviews on Cobalt Saber. And for Cobalt Saber Shining, I don't even think that there's been one formal review. Even on the internet, when you would search up pictures of Cobalt Saber Shining, there wouldn't even be many pictures of him that you would find. I remember only finding a few pictures of him, like, built up out of the box with the stickers and whatever, and I just thought that it was kind of interesting. And it was all always a beat -em on that I wanted, and I eventually got him, and I thought that rather than reviewing normal Cobalt Saber, I would review this version of Cobalt Saber Shining. So, in terms of the testing and just the pieces that are used on this beat -em on he is exactly the same as Cobalt Saber. Really, the only difference of this review from a normal Cobalt Saber review would essentially be me looking at the colors of plastic and the stickers, but even the stickers are actually pretty similar in terms of their details when you compare them to the original Cobalt Saber. So where was this beat -em on available and how can you get him? Because after all, he is a really, really cool variant. This beat -em on was available in the beat -em on Super Ultimate Shooting Set. I believe that you can get the Sono Kong version of that set for about $80 on eBay if you want to check it out. It's a pretty cool like electronic game set where you shoot at targets. I got this beat -em on in a big lot that I received a while ago. And I do actually plan, if I ever get back into collecting beat -em on then I actually do plan on getting that Super Ultimate Shooting set just because of how cool it is, and that looks like such a fun game to play. In the anime, however, the reason that this was included with the Super Ultimate Shooting set is because Yamato was taking on the Super Ultimate Shooting uh, with his friends, and he had to beat it in order to pretty much get out of this temple. Uh, just watch the episode, I believe it was episode 43, it's a really great episode, and Yamato does his special attack, and his Cobalt Saber turns all red and fiery, and this is pretty much the form that it takes. Cobalt Saber Shining also appeared when Yamato and friends defeated Marta B at the end of the original Battle beat -em on series. So with that aside guys, let's take a look at this beat -em on and all that it can do. So now let's take a look at the core of this beat -em on. Just note, I have the power wing on it, so the power wing that you see right there is not part of the core, it's a separate piece, but it is very, very tricky to get it off the core. But as you can see, this core has three hold parts in a triangular shape. If you're a fan of beat -em on you've most likely seen a core similarly to this. This is the Delta Core, well, at least that's what it's called in Zero Two. But the Delta Core in its design had, dates back to one of the first a power type, like the real power type beat -em on in Super beat -em on and that would be Fighting Phoenix with a Delta style hold part core. The whole gist is that the lower hold part will provide a drive or a spin to the Bidama, which will increase the power and speed, and the hold parts at the, at the side will just provide a little bit of stress. So yeah, the core is actually very, very great in Zero Two, and it would it appeared on two beat em on. You could get it on, of course, any version of Cobalt Saber and any version of Blazing Kaiser. Now, Cobalt Saber is a pretty expensive beat em on. He's about forty to fifty dollars, and if you're working on a budget or maybe you just want to get into battle beat em on and Zero Two and get just a really cool looking core, I recommend getting Blazing Kaiser. He has the exact same core, but he's actually a bit p more powerful than Cobalt Saber. And he's really cheap, he's only like $20, so definitely a great beat -em on to start out with if you're a fan of power types. So now we're going to begin with the physical appearance of this beat -em on There are only three aspects of the beat -em on that use solid red colors, and that would be the hold parts, the rings that keep the Zero Two head onto the core, 
and his trigger. And the reason for that is because those three aspects of a 0-2 beat-em-on and pretty much any beat-em-on when it comes to the trigger and the hold parts are pretty fragile and especially with all the stress being put on them, they can break easily. When it comes to the little plastic washers that keep the head onto the core, those pieces are very brittle as it is and if they were to be molded in clear plastic, well, let's just say that my Cobalt Saber would probably be decapitated by now. The rest of the beat -em -on is really nice. You can see he has this translucent orange body and core piece with this dark red armor on top, and I really like it. He has some rubber parts on his gauntlets, his horn, and these little spikes on his head. And let's just take a moment here to admire how cool the stickers look. There's like these golden flames and like these golden and red shiny stickers. They look really, really great. I'm pretty sure that for the most part, the detailing is the same that you would find on normal Cobalt Saber, but it's just all gold and yellow and it looks really, really great. So we've looked at the beat -em on itself. Now let's talk about how this beat -em on functions. Now, other than the classic just trigger on the back of the core, to be an extra power type, you have the classic power wing on the back of this beat -em on which is very, very similar to Cobalt Saber. When we look at it underneath, you can see that it actually does peg into the hold parts right there, so it is going to increase the power a little bit of this beat -em on So without further ado, let's do a test shot. Three, two, one, beat a fire. So as you can see, it's pretty powerful. I actually don't have Cobalt Blade. If I ever get Cobalt Blade, I might do a little battle between the two. But yeah, I would assume that just in its base form like this, it's just a bit more powerful than Cobalt Blade with the main factor behind that just because he has the Delta Core. And you can definitely see the Bidama kind of spinning off in the background. And also, if you were wondering, this is a red Bidama and it looks really great with this Bidamon. So now we get to the unique part of this power wing, and that is it has an adjustable power ability. You can just take the back wings here and fold them down. They kind of just click into place. It, you don't really hear the click, but you can definitely feel the wings kind of fitting into place. And this is kind of what Yamato would do when he does his power shot, his special like ultimate ability in the anime. And it's going to essentially just stretch out those hold parts a little bit more on the back, which in turn makes them compress on the front and put some more stress on the Bidama. So let's do some test shots. Three, two, one, beat a fire. So opening up the power wings a bit does two effects to the Bidamon. It makes it more powerful and it also looks amazing because you can see the stickers on it and it really looks so cool on this Bidamon if you're going to be displaying it. And I actually have some glass shelving coming in soon. I'm definitely going to be displaying this Bidamon like this. But we can actually take the power wing one step further and fold it so that they, the two wings are in a 180 degree relationship to themselves and a 90 degree relationship to this other wing up here. Let's see how the power has increased. Three, two, one, beat a fire. So you just witnessed those power shots and they have definitely increased compared to the last one and you really really can feel the power in this beat -em on kind of starting at this stage but I just said that we're starting at this stage which means that we have another way to increase the power and this is the final way and you just fold them down they almost look like stabilizers I wish that the wings were a bit bigger because then they would actually work as sort of a stabilizer here but this is the most powerful that this beat -em on can get without adding any more power adapters of any sort. So let's see how powerful he is. Three, two, one, beat a fire. So there was Cobalt Saber demonstrated in his full power form. And I really think that this is a very, very effective power type beat -em on In my opinion, Cobalt Saber sets the standard for a good power type beat -em on that all other power types should live by. It's a really, really great beat -em on and if you just watched those uh, shooting clips, you could definitely see how the marble has a lot of drive on it and how it spins around and just goes crazy when you fire it off. So guys, there was my review on Cobalt Saber Shining, and let me just say it is an amazing beat -em on 
I would definitely rec recommend this Beatemon to any power type fans or if you're just trying to get into battle Beatemon and obviously this Beatemon looks really really cool. Now when it comes to the Shining version, it is a clear Beatemon and that means that it is pretty much bound to break. It's just a fact, even some of the crossfight Beatemon which have translucent parts can break. If you're looking for a Beatemon which you can use pretty much all the time in tons of battles and whatever, try to get the original Cobalt Saber, or like I said, if you're just looking to get the Delta Core, definitely get Blazing Kaiser. This Beatemon is cool, but this video is probably going to be the last time that I actually ever use this Beatemon, because he looks amazing on display, so he's going to be staying there. And I have the original Cobalt Saber, and obviously since he has just uh, solid color plastic, he is going to be much more durable. But I think that the Super Ultimate Shooting Set is a really, really cool set, and it's pretty much a two for one because you're getting a really cool game and you're going to be getting this Beatemon. If I ever get the Super Ultimate Shooting Set, I'm definitely going to review it and I'm probably going to build this Beatemon and just not put the stickers on it. So that'll be cool as well. But that's it for this video, guys. I'm the Lego Detective and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.